Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan. In today's episode of Wix Principles, we're gonna be talking about repeaters. Let's go ahead and get started. So when we're talking about repeaters, I kind of want to explain how they're used kind of on big main websites. So if we take a look here at target.com, you'll notice that we have these different list items here and each one of these different items have the same style where they have a circle image with some text underneath it. However, this content inside of these items are different. So each one of these items have a different image and each one of these text elements say something different as well. Same with these products down here, same design, but different content inside of it. So these are commonly used in e-commerce, but they're also commonly used for blog. So if we take a look here at the Wix Fix blog, where you can learn some Bello, you know, each one of these different posts that we have for our blog has the same design, but inside of it, they have, they each have a different image with different text. And in short, that's exactly what a repeater is. So if we come over to add, come down to list, you'll see that we have options for repeater, hover repeaters and blank repeaters. Now, typically I'll just use a blank repeater because I'll already have a design in mind that I feel like will be easier to build from scratch rather than having to add one of these other repeaters and deleting the content inside of it. But as you can see with the repeaters, we have a bunch of different designs that we can choose from. And if we cross over into hover repeaters and I hover over one of these, you'll kind of get an idea of what the hover repeaters do. They add a nice little hover effect. Now, you can add a regular repeater or even a blank repeater and you can add the hover effects manually, which I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But what I want to do is just come over to repeaters and we'll just drag this one out onto the page. Now, the first thing that you'll notice, kind of like what I've explained with the blog and e-commerce, each one of these basically have the same exact design. They have an image in the background with rounded edges and then they have two different text elements inside of it. Now each one of these text elements say something different and each one of these images are different as well. So I can come into this text element and I can change the text. That did not change it for these other items. However, if I grab this text and I change the color, you'll notice that it changed the color for the other items as well. So in short, it keeps the same style, but the content inside of it can be different. One thing that I really like about repeaters is that we can actually stretch this to be the size of the page. So if I come over to the icon right here called stretch and stretch it to the full width, you'll notice that now it's taking up the full page and we can add margins to the sides of it if we don't want the items going the full width of the page. And then what we can do is come over to layout and you'll notice that we have some settings here. So we can justify everything to the left we can do it to the right or we can justify it, which will basically put even spacing between all of the elements and align the content just like this. Or we can leave it in the center, which typically is what you would probably want to do anyway. And then with this space between items, you can kind of control how much space is in between each of the items. Now, one thing that I do want to point out is with the repeaters. When we go down to a certain screen size, you'll notice that it wraps. So it is responsive, which is really nice. However, it wraps left aligned. Even if you have the layout settings set to center, which again, if we go to layout, you'll notice that items are aligned to the center. Even if they're aligned to the center, when things wrap, they always wrap left aligned. Now in Editor X, you can control that and have it be centered. I believe if you use like a, a gallery, like if you go to add in gallery and you use one of these and play with the settings, I think then you can get that centered. But with repeaters, unfortunately, there's no way, real way around it. Now, if you are trying to set up a custom blog or even custom e-commerce grid system like this, then you will need to pair this repeater with your CMS or content management system. Now we're not really going to be covering that here in today's video, but I will be making another Wix principles video on that here pretty soon. Or if you don't really want to wait, I have plenty of CMS tutorials here on the channel, but now let's go ahead and move on to how to create a hover repeater. So if I grab one of these items, you'll notice that we have an option called hover interactions. So if I go ahead and press this and say, get started, you'll notice that now we have a regular tab and a hover tab. 
So regular is what it looks like right now. That's all it looks like. But when we hover, because we are in the hover state, now we can actually adjust it. So if I go ahead and move this up, maybe we'll move this text up here as well. And just for fun, we can actually add things to this as well. So maybe we want to add a button and we'll just kind of place it right about there. And if we want to center it, we can just do that. And now when we go ahead and press preview and we hover over these items, this is what it's going to look like. And of course you'd probably want to design the button so it actually like shows up better. <laughs> but this is kind of what the hover effects kind of do. Similar to what we did with the blog, you know, we can change the text color or you can come over to the e-commerce like this and you'll notice that the an underline is appearing underneath each of the text elements. So you can do a lot of really cool effects with these hover interactions, but I will leave that to you to design it however you see fit. And if you want to add more items or remove items, what you could do is select the repeater you'll notice that there is this option to manage items. So now we get this little box that looks like this and we can easily duplicate items like this. And then of course we can come in here and change the content inside of it, something like that. But if you want to remove items in a similar way, we just go to manage items, we grab this little box and we can easily just click those three dots and press delete. But that's basically all you really need to know about repeaters for now. Again, I do plan to make a video here pretty soon talking about CMS and how to connect your CMS with repeaters. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you're interested in learning about that, or you can check out our many other CMS tutorials here on the channel. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and EditorX content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.